PSA is back on the attack. On the attack in Asia, in China, with our 20 years partner, Dongfeng. It's also back on the attack in Europe, because we are going to reap the benefits of all the efforts of our employees on the recent years. And back on the attack, because we are going with this capital increase of 3 billion euros to have the means of our ambitions in R&D and capital expenditure. In Europe, we are going to reap the benefits of the efforts of all our employees in the recent years. In our plans, we are reducing our cost. We are going to have full utilization of our capacities in two years. And also for our products and our brands, they are now stronger and more differentiated. Look at the new Peugeot 308, look at the DS, look also on the Citroën C4 Cactus. And beyond that, because of our partnership with Santander, we are going to offer to our customers even better solutions for financing. This new partnership with Dongfang has three pillars. First, we are going to increase steeply our production and sales in the next years in DPCA. Second, we are going to put a new R&D center focused on technologies for emerging market customers. And third, we will have a new joint venture with Dongfang for exports in Southeast Asia. This capital increase is needed for three reasons. One, we need to deleverage the company. Second, we need to invest more in research and development to stay in the race. And third, we must reinvest in our plants, either in Europe or outside Europe. Following this capital increase, we will have a much more balanced representation on the board because the three main shareholders will have the same share in the equity and in the board representation and this will lead to uh, reinforced governance. PSA will remain independent in the future and yes we will benefit from uh, the support of our Chinese partner in China, which is absolutely, uh, and in Asia, which is good news, but also will remain French with our French identity and the French touch of our brands is definitely an asset everywhere in the world.